Hi, I'm stuck. And this, uh, no, this is Bounty Thursdays. And this episode is sponsored by Bug Crowd. And this weekend, Bug Crowd ran their virtual conference level up for the sixth time. And I was lucky enough to be one of the hosts. So I got a first chance just straight up to ask the question directly to the speakers. And it's easy to think that running a virtual conference is just something that you do. You put up a little bit of a Zoom uh, thingy and then eventually a conference just happens. I can tell you, none of that is even remotely close to all the work that the bug crowd people put in just to be able to pull this off. Amazing, hats off for that. That was super cool. Um, my favorite talks uh, out of the full day has to be uh, for Bug Bounty Beginners, Katie's talk. It's an hour fully stacked on all the questions that you ever get to ask or get asked when starting in bug bounties, have to check that one out. Second one had to be, uh, um, I think, Fossinop's talk uh, about hacking the corporate world. Like how how do you how do you create a great presentation? How do you um, how do you move around in the corporate uh, environment? And how do you eventually end up getting your pitches? And, and it's just a great piece of knowledge to accumulate. So I definitely recommend you to watch that. And uh, and then, yeah, hey, Reese's talk about the methodology that he picked up as a firefighter, how he approached a target and, and just do a 360 uh, checkout on, on it and, and set strict goals, what he wants to achieve. That was really, really an eye opener as well. I'm super guilty on just going, running straight in, guns blazing into a target. You're starting to poke at everything and then eventually like, oh, I can't find shit. But then you will end up with having to step back again, follow a methodology, follow your goals and make sure that you nail those bugs in the end. I have no idea if these videos ever will end up on the Bug Crowd YouTube channel, but I guess they will. So get yourself some, uh, some of that nice popcorn and, and, and some drinks and then yeah, do a full day out of it. It's a lot of new, great information coming out and you should definitely not miss that. Speaking of new, Inti is back again with another Integrity XXS challenge. This time it's going to be a little bit trickier and it's been uh, influenced by some of the tips and tricks from no other like, than the XXS God himself file descriptor. So make sure you give that a good punch. The winner do get a one year burp subscription. Also, tools that have been upgraded. Uh, Burp Bounty just recently got a new facelift and it's out in version 3.2. The mass has been updated in version 3, uh, 3.6.0. And um, also, one for all now has also been updated to version 3.0 and now support fully English output. So all these tools has been updated and make sure you do that git pull upgrade and, and compile it so you're ready to go on the newest builds. And when we're talking about tools, the team behind Project Discovery hasn't really been chilling lately. They've been working really hard on putting out some great, great, great Go-based tools. They are the creators of Subfinder, Nabu, Shuffle DNS, and DNS Probe. All these are super great tools for enumerating and getting more information regarding your target. Everything from port scan to uh, DNS lookups and brute forcing. But they recently have released their own scanner that's named Nuclei. I think I got that right, but yeah, it's Nuclei for me. It's a really cool template-based scanner. So you can create your own um, additions to this by um, using the community-based templates. And the repository has been around for about two weeks or so. They, they have is identification system for CVEs, DNS. There's ways to identify and find panels, security misconfiguration, and a lot of other cool stuff. So I, I, I'm definitely gonna look into it. 
I haven't been playing around with it uh, enough to give you a walkthrough, but this is definitely something that I'm going to have on my radar for the next week or so. So I've been playing around with fussers lately, and they are so fun. And but there's a plethora of them out there. You know, me and Cook, we did a, a beginners episode on how to use AFL, but there's so many different kind of fussers out there. And so yesterday I got an email from Microsvon mentioning a GitHub repo called Awesome AFL. And it's like a beginner's introduction to everything that has to do with AFL and fuzzers. It has a lot of different projects, tutorials, uh, academia papers, write-ups and all that. It's a lot of information in there. So if you want to dig into on the deep end of the pool when it comes to fussing, I would say this is a great way to start. And even if you've been doing it for a while, maybe there's some new tips and trips you can pick up. So definitely check that one out. I used to have to stop saying check that one out. Okay, now on to something completely different. Um, I've been using computers for the most part of my life and I'm and the only way to communicate with computers, or at least the only way we're used to, is that to use a keyboard, a keyboard like, I don't know, like this one here. And um, and I've been I've been typing on keyboards for ages. The thing is that I only use four to uh, six fingers, right? I, I have been cheating with my pinkies and not using my thumbs, right? So. I'm gonna start practicing to be a better typer and just to improve my speed. And I'm gonna use a site called kbr.com for that. I've been practicing a little bit. I still suck at it, but it's always a cool challenge to learn to you know, improve your skills. So I'm gonna do that. And that's about everything we have for this week. If you like this episode, cool, then Hit that like button, leave a comment. If you didn't, that's cool too. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you that swinging by this channel and supporting me. Mad love for that. Thank you for all the support. And uh, until next week, have a good one and uh, stay curious.